kind of part of the industry like I was I did acting for a while uh, that was fun child actor and all that little known fact about me the film is called Bronson I'm one of the kids that plays uh, the children in the school during the start of his life 
so I'm going to do my first and only paid job as an actor. Um, got paid 50 quid for a day's work, it was great. But I found that when I was doing auditions and it had like a, a musician or oh, a musical aspect to it, I preferred the musical aspect. I just ended up dropping the whole acting part of it and started doing music and I took it seriously proper series back in like 2011 when I basically stole my brother's guitar and started learning to play whilst he was at work, he wasn't happy. And then a few months later, at Christmas, uh, my parents got me my first guitar. For me it's more that if I'm still enjoying it, um, if, I, if I enjoy what I do and I know it sounds really really stupid but if, if there's parts of, parts of the time where I annoy myself, like if, I, if I'm frustrated about what I'm doing, then that means that I'm still learning, which is always good because nobody wants to know everything. Nobody wants to, they say they do, but it's only fun if you're trying to get something, if you're trying to aim it to achieve it. Sometimes it is really easy to write a song, always to use music, but other times the fun comes in the struggle. Which I know sounds stupid and a lot of people are like, well that's ridiculous, but it's not because Yes, it's fun to write it, but at the same time, the fun is also the challenge of knowing whether or not you're going to. And if you write stuff that you hate a week later, then that's where you get to see the growth. So I guess I kind of want that growth to be part of my career. You know, I'm always learning new ways to play guitar, new ways to add percussion, and new new ways of producing and mixing, of, of pushing the boundary. And I think with that, it shows with what these new songs are, because these new songs I've kept for so long, it's literally 25 minutes, like, you know, it's, it's five years of my life condensed down to 25 minutes. What do you choose to say? How do you say it? Like, every second on that EP is there for a reason. Uh, my producer, Connor, and Jack, the amazing guys, they really understood the, the weight behind these tracks and I wouldn't have trusted anyone else with them, um, which is why they sound as good as they do. I hope, anyway. 2014 was my last release, and then uh, there was a little throwback in, on the new EP, so there's a song called Whiskey, uh, which was written actually on my first ever EP release back in 2012, and it was like remastered, re-recorded, and everything like that, with a lot more of a grown-up sound. Um, and because of that, it's, it's it's a nice sort of throwback to any people that used to listen to my music and sort of come back and go, oh, what's, what's Adam doing nowadays? Is he still doing music? Yeah, oh, did you He's re-release Whiskey? That was like back in 2012, that's weird. And they can hear this now and go, oh, actually, yeah, oh, cool, I can see that growth as a musician. Um, this is like a really nice little throwback as well. My name's Adam Zaruba. I'm a 24-year-old singer-songwriter from Nottingham. Uh, I have a new CD coming out this year. Uh, I also have a new single coming out in a few days' time called Romeo. Go listen to it, I'd really appreciate it. And if I see you out and about in Nottingham City Centre, I will buy you a drink. If you tell me that you listen to my song. Let me know Cause I'll be glad to put 
my love on shore. Six strings and piece of wood To help comfort me when life gets a little too hard And if you have ever chosen to give up hope Just stop and remember that you yourself are a rock No Cause you still drive me crazy After all these years And I'm letting